So the first step is to retract the latch on this lock. Uh, typically, the hinge feature on the lock and the hinge feature on the point will mate up uh, in this orientation here. For this operation, we're actually going to take the lock and just slip it in this orientation, straight in and let it uh, rotate over. So once we're blocking in this position here, take this, rotate the hex back, and so you're gonna see the rubber start to bulge as this turns, and we get it to that point, we can remove the tool. So the lock will be in this unlocked state with the uh, rubber and the latch and the hex indicating that. And we're gonna go ahead and install this in the uh, correct orientation and let that swing into the point. This latch here will clear. That may take a little bit of uh, jiggling around there and that can be fully advanced. Uh, we do need to make sure it's critically important that we lock this all the way over. We can go ahead and do that with a hex here and this is going to obviously come over and you're going to note that that's rotated all the way in. The lock is fully locked. So confirming the correct install of the lock, there's actually three things we'll need to look for. We're going to make sure that this hex has been rotated fully to the clockwise position and we have contact between that hex tab and the uh, and the lock body. Uh, second, we want to make sure that this latch is engaged under this primary latch catch. Uh, you can see basically this latch has to be underneath that surface and that the lock is, has a little bit of uh, freedom to move that it's not pinched in there. So once the, we retain, check those three things, we can install the uh, fines cap and the locks are ready to go.